Assalamualaikum everyone. I'm back with another video and uh, today uh, I'll be showing you how to make your filter read only uh, by adding few CSS. Uh, so uh, here uh, this is my uh, page where currently I can edit any uh, edit my filter add or uh, add uh, in this uh, filter currently I'm not having any filter so to make your work easier I'll just uh, I have opened uh, all the uh, pages all the widgets for you so for this widget this uh, for this uh, incident uh, table this is my particular widget url definition and if you want to add any filter i have already showed you so if you want to add any filter you need to go to the data table of that particular incident uh, uh, widget so uh, if i open incident data table by just uh, pressing control and your uh, right click so if you open widget in editor so this is the widget after this widget in this widget if you go there is uh, inc data table which i have added if you haven't watched my video kindly go and watch my previous videos for this one and if i open this then if you see data dot filter is already available in this incident data table so what i need to do this is the uh, this is out of the box thing which they have added but i need to customize this by adding uh, i want the filter to be uh, to have only state which is of new uh, which is new so state with new uh, incidents i want the so state is equals to one we know that uh, new is denoted by one uh, uh, you can go and check in the incident table if you want uh, so i'll just save this and if i just refresh this page and you, we can see that state equals to new is coming because I've added state equals to one. And but if you see that we can edit this uh, filter by anything and which is not my criteria. My criteria is that this filter should not be changed by anyone. No one. No one can change this filter. It should be totally read only. So how to do that? It's quite simple. Uh, you can add the uh, CSS which I am going to add in the page or in a particular widget. It's up to you. Uh, I'll be adding in the page. So this is the page. Uh, you can open the page in the uh, same way as you can. Uh, you have opened the widget. Widget in editor. You can just open the page in designer. And or you can go from sp underscore page. You can open the that particular page. So there are uh, the first thing that I need that I will be writing is ng filter widget hyphen row dot conditions remember s is it's s should be there hyphen row dot ng hyphen scope and inside this pointed events none okay i am saving it just i'll reload this page still loading so yeah i think so yeah so now if you just click you won't be able to edit this you cannot edit this anyway or and you cannot just uh, add or or and condition as well so if you want to uh, exclude this or and and condition okay uh, you can just add one more thing here dot btn dot btn default dot btn and conditions because uh, i'm just excluding and you can uh, use or as well and conditions condition
dot add conditions hyphen row dot sn filter hyphen tooltip you just make this auto just make this auto and just save it and here if you see now I can do add condition but I won't be able to do or but in the next row I can add anything so uh, this is the add uh, thing if you want you can give for or as well in the same way so you cannot change this condition anyway even if you want to exclude from the filter you won't be able to exclude uh, you cannot do anything with the filter so this is the, this was my main motive uh, go ahead uh, do uh, try with or as well and uh, wait for my next video thank you thanks for watching